Hello and welcome to our stream Hi, today everyone. with Andreas and me, Jonas. And um, our overall topic today is MQTT with Quarkus. So MQTT with Quarkus. How do you do that? And what is MQTT? Andreas. Yep. Um, so MQTT is a messaging queue protocol. Um, it's a rather simple uh, protocol or um, yeah, so it doesn't require a lot of um, processing power to work with it. Um, that's why it's uh, often used for IoT. Uh, yeah, I, I know it from my smart home setup at home. Yeah. I have not set it, it uh, up because it's so far everything worked without it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I have already heard a lot of, uh, about it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Just to make sure everybody knows IoT, Internet of, Internet of Things. Um, yeah, and this can reach from your smart home devices. Yeah, just like you said, uh, maybe your your lamps, um, your uh, car uh, garage door, um, but also from some um, sensor devices uh, on remote places. Um, yeah, and this is a nice uh, queue protocol, um, and we want to integrate with Quarkus today. So should we jump to your screen? Um, yeah, I think we can start with um, that. So let's have a look into how we consume an MQTT. First of all, we need an MQTT. And for this, I found some public MQTT um, where we have a website where we can um, connect to the broker. This up here is the the broker URL. What is the broker? Uh, the broker is actually where the queue is. So okay. there you can put messages in and there you can get messages. So from. that would be then our Quarkus uh, running. No, that's that's the queue. And with the Quarkus, we either consume or we send stuff to it. Okay, so the Quarkus is not the broker? Yeah, the Quarkus is not a broker. The another... Quarkus is a consumer. Okay. So for example, we have our sensor device for me measuring temperature. Um, we have it somewhere and it sends um, messages to this broker into the queue. And with the Quarkus, we can listen mm -hmm. uh, on the queue. And whenever something is put into the queue, we get it from the queue. That's basically the idea what we want to do today. And then we might also send messages back to the device. So um, this is just one of the many public brokers that you can find for testing. Um, there's also installations that you can download. Um, uh, Mokito, for example, uh, is one this, of them. This one just runs online and you can yeah, connect to Yeah, and you can it just use it. it for testing. Yeah. Um, so what I do here, we have the this uh, broker URL. Um, we can subscribe to a topic and we can publish to a topic. What is a topic? Um, yeah, good question. <laughs> um, the topic is basically an address of a queue. Mm -hmm. um, and you can put stuff into topics and then listen to topics. So it's basically just to, so you can organize your data. You can say, there's maybe my temperature topic. Um, they, I only put temperature data in and everybody who's interested in temperature can read it from there. Yeah. And for example, my humidity topic is another topic. Uh, my geolocation topic is another one. So basically the name of the queue that you want yeah. to connect to or yeah. read from. Yeah. Okay. And the nice thing is, for example, on the right, we can here publish to a topic. So we, let's say we publish to a consist switch measurements. That's just the slashes are often used to structure it in a hierarchy. Mm -hmm. And we just send to, yeah, to measurements and we say, hello world. Nice measurement. Yeah. And we need to refresh the page. Ah. It's, it seems like it was yeah, On the left side, you also have a different name. I thought you have the, the wildcard or something. What is yeah, that? Yeah, I want to come to that. Ah, sorry. Um, <laughs> ah, no, I, I had to subscribe. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So what we can do is we can subscribe to this. Yeah. And Wait, now we can send Hello World. But now we might have, for example, we put our device ID here. Mm -hmm. So um, we could listen to the, for each device. 
uh, the messages, but now we don't get them on the web side because yeah. the name is different. But then there's also wildcards. For example, there's plus. This means there can be one variable. So, so one more, let's say, path component. Can yeah, be there. one path component. Mm -hmm. uh, so this would not work in this case now. Yeah. But it, you could do stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, unsubscribe, subscribe. Yeah. Whatever it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now I could subscribe to the temperature of all devices again. Yeah. Or what I can also do is like just a hashtag and then I get everything. Uh, I had this before, it didn't unsubscribe, so now we have everything double. <laughs> <laughs> it uh, seems like a nice website. Yeah, I mean, fully working. it's for free, so. Yeah, for testing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. That's basically the idea. On the right, we can put stuff into the queue. On the left, we can get it out. And now we want to do the same with Borkus. We want to get stuff out and we want to send stuff in. So let's start with um, setting up a project. And as always, we can do this with um, code Quarkus IO. Mm -hmm. um, so we name it somehow. We want to use Gradle with Kotlin DSL, Java 17. Uh, for now, I use REST Easy Reactive with Jackson to have a REST endpoint so I can trigger it somehow. Mm -hmm. So that would be our point to trigger then the to connection. trigger the sending. Mm -hmm. And then there's MQTT. So there's the small y reactive messaging MQTT connector. So with small y reactive messaging. What is the TT in MQTT? So it's transfer maybe, but messaging oh, queue. You are asking transfer. <laughs> NQ telemetry transport. Transport, okay. Yeah. And what means MQ in that? The what? A message queue, I guess. Messaging queue? Ah, I guess that's what you said in the beginning. Okay. So you said MQTT is a messaging queue. So yeah, it was yeah, clear yeah. that MQ okay. is messaging queue. Message queuing telemetry transport. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Stuff that you just take for granted and never question. Yeah. And I forgot to mute my watch. Sorry about <laughs> that one. Um, so um, small wire reactive messaging has a couple of integrations. So you can also use AMQP which is another queue. Mm -hmm. Also Kafka, which is a, a way more sophisticated uh, queue. That can, um, yeah, has a lot of more features, but it's not easy to use. So it's not like something you usually want to use with IoT. And also for RabbitMQ, which is a special uh, queue, uh, also is a connector here. And the nice thing is we only need to work with uh, reactive messaging and just tell it which connector we want, and it's looking the same for us. Mm -hmm. And obviously, we also want to have Kotlin always. No Java. The word is just nicer with Kotlin. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I also now, uh, since my last stream, uh, I used stream, I also worked a bit with Kotlin. It's, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> You hear that? <laughs> the iOS guy says it's okay, then it's great. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I downloaded this project already, um, unzipped it. Like in the good uh, cooking show, you already prepared something. Yeah, I already <laughs> prepared the ingredients. Yeah. Um, so let's get started. Uh, can you oh, is it increase already big? the font size? Yeah, like always. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I always forget. Ah, yeah, that's good. <sighs> but the font, uh, the editor is different. Okay. Yes. So, um, to get started, we will have a look at the documentation. Mm -hmm. That's a good start, yeah. Yeah. Um, so here, um, this under small right, reactive messaging, the MQTT connector. Here you can also find about the other connectors. Um, we have this dependency already because we created it or set the check mark in the code Quarkus.io. 
And then basically there's two types. You can have inbound stuff or outbound stuff. So let's start with inbound. And this is config, so it goes to the application properties. And here we can name the channel. So this is the internal name inside Quarkus, how we want to reference it later. So let's call it mesh ferments. I don't know, maybe chat can say, I, I find it a bit hard to read uh, this color on that background, but maybe it's just me and the, yeah, yeah. The, the, my preview is not that big. So maybe it's, yeah, that's the reason. I, I can try to change it for next time. Yeah. The bad thing is uh, IntelliJ doesn't recognize this as a, a known property. Yeah. That's why it marking, it's marking it like that. Um, so it's mp.messaging.incoming for incoming topics. If we have an outgoing, then it's outgoing. Then measurements for the name. Mm -hmm. And then connector. And we specify we want to have the small i MQTT connector. Okay. Let's continue. So we have the connector. Then we need the host and the port. That was shown on that website yes uh, here so uh yeah, it's actually copyable this and mm -hmm. the port is a standard port uh, for mqtt that is not with ssl uh it's 1883 mm -hmm. if you have ssl i think it's 8883 but this so if you have your own service you can also encrypt the connection uh, with this public service, it's not encrypted. Yeah. And also there's uh, options to specify username and password if you have authentication on your queue. Okay, uh, let's go back to the documentation. What we also need, since we want to consume it, we need to name the topic that we want to have. So, topic. And this is basically the same as here. We can yeah. also use wildcard with all the plus and so on. Can you also um, put multiple different topics in there? Uh, or just no. one per? Just one. But you could. Um, uh, I just want to ask. Yeah. <laughs> um, but you, you can make like multiple and name this like. Different, yeah. Measurements Let it do. But it can connect to the same host, but. Yeah, has different topics. Um, topics. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that's what the wildcards are for. Um, but if if it's not sufficient with the wildcards, you can also on the same method subscribe to two topics. I will show you that later. Okay. So um, now we would receive everything under this topic name with the wildcard. And now we actually need to implement the code that is doing this. And we can do this by, let's create some package. So we have uh, a class, we want to make it a bean, application scoped. And now we say incoming measurements this is the name that we specified mm -hmm. here and then we just say uh, receive measurement and this is a byte array <laughs> yeah it's the raw stuff <laughs> uh, let's lock this byte array because we don't like bytes. You can just convert it that way. Yeah, it makes a it, it takes the bytes and makes it as a string okay. representation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, 
Okay, let's try this. It was not that much code. No, it's <laughs> not that much code. Okay, so one thing I want to tell you, there's an error here mm -hmm. uh, because I haven't ac uh, activated Docker. So that's only a dev mode thing um, because if you do not specify the, the host in dev mode, then it can also with, the, um, with test containers, it can start a queue mm -hmm. for you uh, locally and you can use that for testing and for playing around. Uh, so it can automatically do that. Since we want to use an uh, uh, existing Docker or uh, existing queue, yeah. um, we don't need that. It still prints the error. Just don't worry about that. Um, yeah, so what we see here is um, this is a bit misleading. Uh, it says established uh, successfully, connection established successfully. Yeah. Actually, this was just, it reached the host and afterward it, it tries to subscribe to the topic and this didn't succeed for a couple of times. So it retried and only when you see this, then it's actually successful. Okay. Great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Great experience. Yeah. But there's there's room to improve. Yeah. Um, okay. So now if you send something on that uh, browser, it should... Then let's hope it should appear here. Let's split this up. Uh, oh, yay! Ooh. And that's how you receive stuff from an MQTT with Quarkus. That's super easy. Was that, was that already the second part? No, the, yeah. Okay. Well, it was the first part, receiving okay. stuff with Quarkus. Yeah, good, good. <laughs> Meh, such. Yeah. Um, Maybe a very short recap. Um, we use the reactive messaging, small ry reactive messaging MQTT um, extension of Quarkus. We specify that we want to have an incoming topic. We name this um, connector internally in Quarkus measurements. You can name it whatever you want. Um, then we say we want to connect to an MQTT. We specify the host port and the topic name. And then all we need to do is in a bean specify at incoming on top of a method with this name that we specify in the application properties and then you get the data. Okay. Nice. Okay, so that's the end of our first part, right? Yeah. So it was quite easy, I would say. Yeah. Do Very we have nice. any questions already? Yeah, maybe do that. If not, um, yeah, if thanks not, for then... watching that part. <laughs> <laughs>